Alrighty, folks, uh, it's time to play Amnesia the Bunker. Uh, Amnesia's interesting. It's a, it's a series I actually have a lot of history with. Um, but despite me saying that, uh, I haven't really played many of them. <laughs> so, but way back in the day, I was a, I want to say, sophomore in high school. I had an iMac, and I played... Penumbra, and uh, all of those games. Penumbra, Penumbra Black Plague, Penumbra Requiem, I think, are their names. By Frictional. And those were their first games, I think, first commercial releases. Um, and they were really interesting physics-based horror games. And I remember thinking they were really interesting, and... This was back when I had absolutely zero an social anxiety, and I just emailed the people at Frictional. I just emailed, I typed in the first name of like the director of the game, at frictionalgames.com or something, and I emailed them. And I said, hey, I really liked your game. This was really cool. And he responded. He was just like, oh, wow, thanks. How'd you learn about it? And I was like, oh, I heard about it on a podcast called like Rebel FM, I think is what I heard it on. Anthony Gallegos and Arthur Geese's podcast way back in the day. And he was like, oh, wow, that's really nice. And so I told him like, oh, yeah, I'm like a teenager from America. And I think it's really cool that you're play you like, you know, you're like a European indie dev that you made this thing that's really sick. And uh, he responded by showing me a bunch of like behind the scenes stuff from Penumbra and then also gave me like just a bunch of like random information and like press kit files and screenshots from this new game they were working on. I don't even think it had a name yet. Um, I don't remember exactly when this was, but um, but yeah, uh, so I got to see Amnesia before Amnesia came out just because of this cool thing I did um, and I don't know if they would remember me or anything like that I was probably one just like random person <laughs> emailing them among hundreds but um, I remember being really interested in Amnesia because of that and then when Amnesia came out I had a lot of difficulty running it on that computer because it was pretty old it was like 2007 iMac like it was not strong <laughs> at all uh, so um, years go by and I'm in Florida on vacation, and I'm really anxious. And I stop at a GameStop on my vacation. We, we were going to like Disney World and doing Halloween Horror Nights. And on my vacation, I bought a Nintendo Switch Lite. And I, I bought Amnesia with it. And I played Amnesia, finally on the switch light on a Disney World vacation because I was really anxious. <laughs> um, and I remember being really impressed with it. And it like wasn't really doing super, like it didn't perform super great on the switch. It was like, okay. Um, so I've always wanted to go back and play like Machine for Pigs and then Rebirth when that came out, but I just didn't get around to it. Um, so yeah, now the bunker came out and I was like, why not? Let's go for it. Let's play Amnesia. <laughs> um, let's look at this. Let's see. Very high, high. Okay, so yeah, it just thinks that my computer should run it at perfect quality. So that's fine. Only it's FXAA though. That's weird. Anyway, uh, let's play Amnesia the Bunker. Oh, it has save slots. All right, difficulty mode hard. Craving an intense nightmare, be ready for unforgiving encounters and extreme caution in a true horror test. Let's do it. Turn subtitles on. Video distortion effects. What does that mean? Hints. That's fine. Game pausing hints. That's fine. Vibration. Why would vibration be on? I'm using a mouse and keyboard. All right, let's get started, shall we?
To survive this roar, you'll need two things. First, a basic set of skills. Second, the good goddamn sense to do whatever's necessary. I can teach you the first, the second is up to you. Remain Delpy, General de Brigade, uh, Fourth Army of the Third Republic. Alrighty. Follow the trench. I can lead you to the rendezvous. Alright, so we can take out and holster our gun if we need to. We only have one bullet. Uh, I ain't gonna use that. Oh my gosh. That's loud. Put it down to like right there. That should be fine. Did that save? The audio does not sound any different. There we go. There we go, that's better. That was excruciatingly loud. Okay, cool. So we have M Sim left right lean. That's nice. Oh god, playing this on a track uh, trackball is gonna be weird. <laughs> that does not work as well as it as you would assume it would. Alright. Hold down R to check how many bullets you have. Interesting. Oh, my friend Gray is in chat. Hey, Gray. It is a pleasure to see you. Gray is also a streamer. Okay, this is a slow reload animation. That is exciting. That's that. All right, just auto throws. We can grab stuff, move stuff around. It says press right uh, click to throw something, but there we go. What's the issue here? Why do I need to throw this? Do I have to throw it at the door? Break it down? Seems like it. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, that's kind of goofy. Picked up an item that can be used for crafting. Pick up the other cloth piece and press tab to access your inventory. Combine the two cloth items to craft a bandage. Okay. Cool. Bandage. Uh, for use on small wounds capable of getting a soldier back on their feet, even if not fully recovered. <laughs> the control scheme is going to be pretty brutal. Resident Evil style health system. Yeah, seems like it. Forceps. Eat forceps. What's back here? Just stuff. Nades. Nice. We love those. I want to go back and just check that there isn't anything else. So it seems like our name is Henry. Uh, which is cool. That's good to know. What's back here? Nothing. That guy's pretty dead.
There we go. Lock that door. We're gonna need to bust through this too. Alright, let's do it. Is that not gonna be enough? I guess not. What do we gotta do then? What do we need to bust through that door? Something heavier, presumably. Let's grab our, our good old block from earlier. Where'd we put it? Way back here. Is it, will that be enough? I don't think so. Can we find a bigger rock? Let's go check. This one maybe is fine. We'll have to see. The player having a shadow is really cool. More games should have that. I agree. I like that you can look down and see his body. More games should have your body visible. There we go. Is there anything else around here that I could use to break through that door? Because I don't want to, like, shoot it. I don't want to waste anything. Unless I'm just misunderstanding and this isn't actually a door I need to break through. Oh, God. How am I supposed to get through this? It might be tutorializing the grenade, probably, but I don't want to use my grenade. All right, interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we had to use the grenade up. That sucks. Poor Wolf says, does a red light mean anything? I don't think so. I think it I think it's probably a checkpoint, is my guess. That's uh, mustard gas, right? That's what this is? It is so fast, fast! No sign on me, We make it out of this hill together. Come follow me. We're nearly there. Oh boy, we made it. What's this? What's going on here? So we're we're part of the French front in World War One, it seems. That's my guess. Immediately turn around. Rule number one in all video games. Sketchy. Scary. Yeah, this playthrough is going to be pretty dark. Visually speaking, I mean. <laughs> there are probably going to be moments that make it a little bit hard to see what's going on. I probably, for the sake of YouTube, I should probably turn the brightness up just so that the encode isn't terrible uh so maybe we'll do that real quick just to do it graphics oh no uh gamma mm. 
it says till the X has disappeared. I don't want it to be like too easy to see. Oh, but this looks so washed out. Ugh, look at that. It's like hyper brightened. Oof. Okay, well. What's that? Is that Lambert? Huh? go one just set it back to the default that's fine makes it look a little bit less washed out and then uh, we'll just really quickly we'll turn that audio up just a little it should be good It looks like to me. Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> so how did our buddy end up down here? How did that happen? What even is this? Just a landfill? Clipping into his butt when I turn. Werewolf says, I hope these levers make it out okay. <laughs> you are now on your own. Learn, adapt, experiment, and survive. Okie doke. I can do that. I can make that happen. <laughs> Mana says, oh damn, they killed the tutorial. <laughs> nice. We're somehow alive. Okay, uh, what's around here? Oh boy. Hold T to rotate or hold middle mouse click. Okay, the controls on PC with my particular mouse are not incredibly kind. <laughs> Maybe I'll play it on controller, who can say? Uh that's a little that's a little rough, but we'll make it work. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Progress saved. Hey, look at that. So there's auto saves. All notes that you pick up can be found under the notes tab of your inventory. You can go directly to the picked up note by pressing tab while the icon is flashing. All right. Dr. Josinski amnesia cause. Soldat Clement admitted to medical treatment following events of 9th July. Personal effects held in the storage locker. Patient remains in weak coma state will respond to stimuli, but only for brief periods of time. When last rose, he reported no memory of recent events. Had trouble recalling even his own name. Most likely due to severity of initial head trauma. We'll continue to monitor. If status does not improve in a week's time, recommend transfer to St. Etienne for uh, neurological tests. Signed, Dr. Yosinski. Interesting. Uh, I wonder if the reveal is going to be that we are playing as uh, Henry or Lambert and not Henry. Just a guess.
I just wanted to see if we could break these boxes and there'd be medical supplies in them, but it doesn't seem like it. Huh? Alright, I guess this is just a bunker. What's that say? Field dressing. Gotcha. Neat. This is very atmospheric lighting. Oh, press F to bring out or put away the flashlight. July, 1700 hours. I'm in a state of agony. It cripples my body, captures my mind, bleeds my soul. This thing I have done, this thing, this thing. It is lunch in the mess hall currently. Oh, the thought of eating repulses me. Uh, interesting. So we are Henri Clément. Um, that being said, uh, he says, uh, this thing I've done, this thing, this thing. Uh, he apparently doesn't remember. I guess he remembers. I guess this was 9th of July. So this is the event that gave him his amnesia. The thought of eating repulses me. He probably ate his friend's body. That's my guess. Hold F to charge the flashlight. Try not to make too much noise. Okay, the voice is too quiet, you say. Unfortunately, I don't have the ability to separate the voice from everything else. It should be fine, though. This should be a little bit better. All photos that you pick up can be found under the photos tab of your inventory. Gross. Why would you look at that? Why would you have that? That's a key. So we're going to need... Journée de Paris, Juillet 1916, au profit des oeuvres de guerre de l'Hôtel de Ville. Interesting. Oh, this is the title screen area. This is the... Look, it's the title screen right here. Interesting. Not going to go in there because there's blood under the door. Want to explore a little bit more first before we do anything else. Is this locked? Sure is. Okay. Borwolf says, I don't think I've ever seen this sort of flashlight mechanic. That's really neat. Uh, yeah, I agree. Kind of kind of cool. It's so short-lived, though. It would be really nice to have a uh, wider flashlight. Longer flashlight, I mean. All right. What is this? Fuel. Petrol. Highly flammable for use in the generator. It can be poured in empty bottles or on the ground. Oh, so there will be fire mechanics. Neat. And yeah, these are burned bodies. So I wonder if we'll be burning bodies as, as well. Gray says, a flashlight that makes loud noise is very cool. Maybe you'll get upgrades later. Raph says, I wonder if it's like Silent Hill 4 where there's a hub. Like this is a hub and you go weirder places as it goes on. Maybe. Escape. You need to blow it back open. There's dynamite in the arsenal. 
Ah, and a handle to trigger it somewhere in the excavation site. Okay. Get them, then you can make it out. Oh, shit. That thing, it's coming for me. Here, take this. Finish me off, please. I want to die at the hands of a board of soldier, not that monster. Uh, in the pantry. Get it. Do the mm, job, please. I do not want to waste ammo on you. That is a, a terrible idea. Uh, I am definitely not going to use shot like precious revolver ammo on just killing a dude for no reason. Sorry, buddy. It might be the merciful option. Ah, I wonder if I could have killed him. Stay away from the holes. Very dark. Can't go through there. Okay. in what looks like is this an office v batiste note from head clerk re dog tags when processing to see soldiers please check the reverse side of their id tags for any messages symbols or locker codes these are to be wiped clean before the tag is preserved and recorded uh, q frilou head clerk Use this box for storing things from your inventory. Okay. Do we have a Resident Evil storage container? It seems like we do. The gun away for now. Fuel away for now in case I absolutely need it. Central bunker. This is where we are. Uh, administrate. Okay, so we're in an administration office. Interesting. Is there any of these records that we can actually interact with? Huh. Nope. Okay. Uh, okay. What was it? 1916? That doesn't sound right. Was that World War One? Nope. Okay. Soldier quarters, arsenal, officer quarters, maintenance, exit. Alrighty. Ooh, what's this? Med kit. For use when wounded on the battlefield, proper use can leave even the most wounded soldier a soldier fielding their best. Rats and burnt corpses. Update to all medical and mortuary personnel. The rat problem has not gotten any better. They're swarming every dead body. They're even coming after the wounded. But the vermin have no interest in flesh after it's burnt. So new policy must be instituted. The bodies of all deceased soldiers must be burned. I have spoken to Father de Ray about this matter. He will provide proper consecration for the deceased. Remains will be preserved for their families. This is not ideal and it fills my soul with pain, but burning the dead seems to be the only way to stop the rats from coming, so burn them we must. Okay. Pretty much what I expected. Anything in there. Anything. Anything good. You getting anything? No. Uh, can we open drawers is my next question. Yes, we can. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're learning a lot in this little room. Music records. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's nothing fancy in there. Neato. Okay. Generator. Let's go grab our fuel then. Pocket watch. A pocket watch with stopwatch functionality can be synced with the generator to time how much fuel remains. Okay. What is this? Q Frilu 0313. Said I needed to burn these remains, but I don't actually have a way to burn stuff right now. Fuel and fire. Warning, generator fuel is extremely flammable. Do not light any fires near the fuel. Uh, do not fire any weapons near the fuel. For God's sake, do not even smoke your cigarettes near it. Store it only in sturdy metal canisters. Glass breaks far too easily. If it spills, wipe the area clean immediately, then dispose of the rags outside of the bunker. Huh. Okay. You can power the generator by filling it with fuel and pulling the lever. Keep on at all times. The fucker hates lights. I see... Oh, it used both of my fuels. Okay. Three one three. All right, I wanted to see one other thing. What did this do for me? Nothing, probably nothing. Let's turn this off so it doesn't use as much fuel. I don't know if that's how that works, but if it is, then good for us. Oh shit, I did not see what that said. Oh boy, okay. Officer's quarters maintenance. Joubert. That, why can't I? This thing's gonna find me and kill me. Noise is dangerous, be careful how much of it you make. I'm, I'm being careful, I guess. This is what careful looks like, game. I wanna see what the monster looks like so that it doesn't scare me. So let's look. Prisoner in custody, from Videlpi to M. Fournier and D. Blanchet and all. After raid of last evening, we have in custody some 20 German soldiers from the Ivy Reserve Corps of the Second Army. This puts our cells past capacity. With one exception, I recommend they be shipped to the camps as soon as feasible. Prisoner 73014 I would like to hold. Before capture, he ripped his rank and his insignia from his uniform, so his rank remains unknown. Since capture, he has refused to say a word. I suspect he may be an officer or other important person. I believe once removed from his men, we can break him. Please advise. Okay. Well, it's good to know that's how that works. They say that every enemy has a tell. Take the artillery fire, for example. When it gets louder, you know the Germans are coming soon after. Know your enemy well enough, and they will tell you all that you need to know. Sergeant Major Johannes Melius. Ha! <laughs> 
how far back are we? Oh boy. Oh boy, we're pretty far back. Well, that's uh <laughs> that's sure something, huh? And it it's an auto save, so we don't have the ability to save. <laughs> okay. Okay, game, let's go. Uh, I don't want to miss anything. Someone there for me. <laughs> Thought I was the last one. I'm trapped down here. <laughs> Gotta wait for you to talk again. You can save your progress by lighting this lamp. Okay, would have loved to know that before. <laughs> uh, did I forget? I did, I forgot the fuel. Where was the fuel last time? Because we had some by the time we got down there. I think this area is probably safe, right? I mean, in as much as it can be. Yeah, the fuel was back here, okay. Okay, uh, cool, so we can just automatically turn on and off that light to just save. Interesting. Use this box for storing things from your inventory. Will do, buddy. All right, just go through, read some stuff like we had before. There we go, it's all good. Intriguing, okay. We're off to an interesting start here. Put the first aid and the concussion grenade, or the flare away. Uh, for use when in need of aid, signals with its brightly burning and loudly hissing flame can be thrown. Uh, let's do some stuff real quick. I wanna see, does the code stay the same forever? Or is it random? My guess is it's random. Nope, it's not. We have that. That's great. I do need to go down here to grab this and that and that just to have it. There's nothing else in here, I don't think, except this note. Nothing there is really useful. Interesting. So the the thing that's kind of interesting about 
the amnesia games are that you're never really in as much danger as it feels like you are. Like, there are very set times and locations when you're in danger, and a lot of the game boils down to just knowing how to manipulate that and, like, when you're actually in harm's way. Uh, now, I don't know if that's going to be the case with this one in particular, but uh, my guess is yes. <laughs> You can never overcome most obstacles in multiple ways. Use your wits and your brains, experiment. If you think something might be possible to do, it probably is. How to get the hell out of here. Have not seen another human for hours now. It might be the last. Or I might be the last. But in the hope that there might be another, I leave this now so you do not waste any time. This is the only exit, the only way out of this hell of our own making. It was blown closed, it needs to be blown open. Don't bother digging, impossible. Blow it up. The dynamite is locked in the arsenal. The detonator handle is somewhere down in the Roman tunnels, deeper in hell. I go now to try and retrieve them both. Though I do not know if you exist, I pray for you. Please extend me the same courtesy. From Sergeant... No, Soldat uh, Boisrond. That's his name. So, objectives are marked on maps. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is telling us we need to get to the arsenal. Oh, this is fascinating. Okay. And it just allows us to exactly see where we need to go so my guess is the game has four main chapters it's just you know well i guess it's five right because we go to the arsenal then we probably go to maintenance then soldiers quarters then prison then out that's my guess and i, I think last time we wandered into the soldiers quarters and immediately got wrecked so we should be headed for the arsenal. Yes, okay. The exit is the area with the lights lit up. So, interesting. I'm just checking to see if we can actually just save however many times we want. Seems like we can. Doesn't seem too bad. Neat.